Love Diaz, the Filipino father of the slow cinema movement, is also a great collector of golden animals. He won the Golden Bear in Berlin, the Golden Leopard in Locarno, and in 2016, at the Venice Film Festival, he added the Golden Lion to his collection. His love for cinema comes from childhood, when his father introduced him to black and white movies and to evaluate social injustice and human rights. Hi, love. Hi. Give us a background on the drug war, which motivated you to make this movie, When the Waves Are Gone. It's an urgent issue. Uh, it just happened very frequently. The six years of the third day, which ended uh, last May, the, the image of that administration is about brutality, violence, you know, as an effect of disorder to, to, you know, to just kill people who are involved in drugs even without due process, you know. So there's a lot of human rights abuses that happened during the administration and extrajudicial killings. Uh, there's a need to address this thing. We cannot just uh, be silent about this, you know. It's, it's, there's a crime committed. There are crimes committed. It's a crime against humanity, not just against Filipinos. Uh, it has to be addressed. Justice must be served. Can you talk about how important festivals like Venice are in uh, throwing a spotlight on issues like this that otherwise would not be known throughout the rest of the world? Yeah, the festivals like Venice are, you know, great, great uh, platforms or venues for this cinema, especially during the times of Marco Muller when they opened up the Horizonte section where even long films are you know, being embraced, you know, you know, integrated with you know, with it with Hollywood. Uh, there's this big compromise then of, you know, a mix of Hollywood and you know, art house uh, work. So now it's all over the world. You can, you know, they're embracing all kinds of cinema, not just Hollywood. So it's good. You know, we can, they can hear our voices, not just in the Philippines, even here. It's all over the world, yeah. Venice has been like a second home to you. Mm. You won the Golden Lion, the best picture for yeah. the woman who left. Yeah. And also you won uh, several other awards So in the Horizonte. So can you tell us what you s still remember from all these awards, especially the night that you won the Golden Lion? <laughs> I don't remember anything. It was just, my mind was spinning that night. I, we didn't expect you know, the film to win. We didn't, you know, you know, join the festival anyway for the awards. But yeah, thank you for the bonus that we got it. It's a big push for Philippine cinema. By now, you must be tired of people. Some people saying that your films, many of your films, or several of your films, are over five hours. But at three hours, this is act. This when the waves are gone is actually one of your shorter films. So, why do you? prefer to make these uh, uh, films that really spend more time to tell the story? In the case of the duration of my film, uh, I'm trying to represent a culture, you know, the Philippine culture, the Malay culture, we have a different way of looking at life. The idea of waiting is very much a part of our lives. If you go to the far flung areas of Mindanao, specifically in the place where I grew up, you can see people sitting under the tree for the whole day, waiting for you know, the food to fall or some carabao to pass by or some snakes to pass by your feet. It's, it's you know, I'm just saying these things metaphorically, but we have a very, very different way of seeing life and I want to represent that. Kailangan na kasing magsalita eh. Parang manok na lang ang buhay ng mga Pilipino. Naging sistema kayo ng kamatayan, ng pagpatay. At ang nagiging biktima nyo, yung mga walang laban, mga putay na kayo! 